Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Por Vida, we've got a special guest in studio to tell us all about coffee, plus a chance to win a special promotion from McAllen International Airport and is so much more of fun. The show starts right now. Hey there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Now, if you are a coffee lover, then you're gonna wanna pay attention here, okay? Because today's studio guest is here to tell us all about different ways that we can try out a good old cup of joe. Uh, we have a special guest, as mentioned, joining us now in studio with more. So thank you so much for dropping by. You've gotta go ahead and officially introduce yourself and tell us what we got here. Sure, well, hello, I'm uh, Marcus Villarreal. I'm here with uh, PJ's Coffee. Uh, so we have a combination of drinks to give you guys out today. We're promoting our pralines and cream uh, LTO flavor and then also our summer drinks as well that we'll be uh, having all throughout the summer to beat this Texas heat. This is so amazing. Everything looks so good. So let's go ahead and get started. I mean, you have a couple different things you want to show us here, right? So what is first? Definitely. So we'll start with our first one. It's our pralines and cream latte. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a small cup right here. Awesome. It we'll looks so good. Already. We'll start with our espresso doce. We're going to do about two ounces of this. Okay. I mean, everyone loves coffee, right? Definitely. <laughs> awesome. Once we have that in, we'll go ahead and add our pralines flavor. So we'll do three pumps of this one. Okay. Go ahead and give it a little, little mix in there. Love it. And then this one, it's your choice of milk. Uh, so I prefer oat milk, so that's my go-to. I'm, so I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we also have almond, uh, whole skim, any types of milk, basically. but. I think oat milk's the best. Look at that. And it's Instagram worthy too, wouldn't you say? Oh, definitely. <laughs> wow, that looks so good. That and is it's just kind of sweet. It is. So the pralines, it's kind of like a, a combination of brown sugar and pecan. Okay. Uh, it's a very southern drink. And then to kind of give it that extra flair, we'll go ahead and throw some whipped cream on top of there. Oh my goodness. And there's your pralines and cream latte. What else could you ask for? <laughs> that looks amazing. And that's not all. You have two other surprises for us, right? Yes. So if you're not into the whole coffee, we also have our uh, teas as well. Okay. So we'll have in our promotion right now, which are our summer teas. So the first one I'll be making is the Mandarin Palmer iced tea. Awesome. So that one's going to be our combination of our lemonade, which we'll do about half of that. Okay. Say goodbye to boring tea. This is the way to do it. Right. Definitely. You got to add some add some flavor to it. <laughs> then we'll have half of our black tea. Okay. And then we'll add three of our mandarin pumps. Amazing. And then give that a little mixture in there as well. And there you have it. Amazing. And we also have one third drink here. We're running out of time a little bit, but you can go ahead and make this one for us, yeah, right? I'll make it real quick. So awesome. this one's real basic. So this one's actually a very unique flavor for PJs. Okay. So this one's called the Cherry Cloud. So with this one, what you're going to do is you're going to make it with uh, coconut milk. Okay. Go ahead and put that up there. I like the name of it. It just sounds so unique. Yes. Yeah, so we have two flavors in the cloud. So you can do a Cherry Cloud or a uh, Orange Cloud. And the orange cloud kind of tastes like a dreamsicle, so that one's really good. Okay. And this one is your cherry. You go ahead and give that a mixture in there. Wow. And doesn't it just look like a cloud? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. You are amazing. This is amazing. You guys, you've got to try this out. We're going to do that right now, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys, there you go. We hope that you've got some good insight into the world of coffee. And of course, we hope that you're able to check out all their other stuff as well. I mean, coffee is just something that a lot of us Americans love. It's really a drink that many across the globe indulgent and it's something else that a lot of the world loves is entertainment whether it comes in the form of film music or theater of course entertainment helps ease our minds and just makes us feel happy that's why our team decided to catch up with the team over at the harlingen community theater so go ahead and check out all that you can look forward to at their location so much fun We actually have two shows that are currently in production here at our theater. The first I'm going to talk about does not yet have a performance date set, but it is uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein's The Sound of Music, which I will be directing, and I do have some of my lovely cast members here as well. We don't have a scheduled date for it because the show initially was supposed to be performed in January, but due to COVID 
and an increase of sickness in our cast, we decided to postpone for a later date, um, just for the safety and health and well-being of our cast and our community. But the show that we're currently putting on for this summer is called The Little Shop of Horrors. It's a very, very popular cult classic musical. Um, this one is not necessarily super family friendly. We would say maybe preteen age and older. Um, but it's definitely fun, it's very funny, and it has some really interesting scares. We also have some really interesting characters, including our Audrey too, um, that is and has been built and created by our cast members. Well, I know I don't only speak for myself when I say during the summer we pretty much live here. We actually were just talking about how a little while ago that it hasn't even been 12 hours since we left the theater and we're here and we're planning on staying all day. Um, our rehearsals usually run from 6.30 until about 9.30, but we're usually here from about 2 p.m. until about 10.30 p.m. And a lot of us are educators, teachers, I'm a librarian, and so pretty much once the school year ends for us, this pretty much becomes our next job slash home away from home. We put all of our heart and soul into the show because we are everything. Our cast is at the heart of our production tenfold. The best way to keep up to date with the goings on at our theater and to also get involved would be to reach out to us on our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is entitled Harlingen Community Theater if you look us up and send us a private message, we can give you all the information that you need. And while music is the universal language of the world, it's not the only thing that we as people love. How about our pets? Yep, a lot of us from all over the globe can't help our connection with coffee, music, and of course our furry friends. In case you're missing out on all the love that can come from a four-legged companion though, don't worry. Our team is visiting a local animal shelter to introduce you to one pet who's definitely in need of, for of a forever home. So here's our Pet of the Week segment brought to you by Best Friends Animal Society.